I'm here trapping on the side of this shed. Uh, the squirrels are running all around, going under the door and everything here, and caught this nice little red squirrel and Bridger 110. This is number three here, I guess. Nice little squirrel. He'll be sent off to North American Fur Auctions here in the next couple days. It's December 3rd, 2012, or pardon me, January 3rd, 2012. And this is our first catch of 2012. I'm out checking traps here today and I caught a weasel in this weasel box. Which is good because he's been robbing this box here now for some time. Taking the bait out. Uh, squirrels run around here too, but it's not that cold out today. And that is a nice big weasel. We're here at this beaver house here. Trapping beaver. We just pulled up a fairly nice beaver in a 330 conibear male. There's, I don't know, seven or eight feet of water there. The feed beds right there. The house got a weasel today, too. I was using that feed stick. Yeah, using green poplar for bait, just wired to the jaws there. Peeled a bit. But I mean, the top of the ice is here, the trap was here, so. He uh, fought a little bit, and of course the bottom is down there. That shows you the water depth a bit, but here's a nice beaver in a 330. Alright, this beaver here, it's wet, as you can see. And to dry it off, you just kind of roll it in the snow. There's not that much snow around here this year. Only a couple inches in most places, and only about a quarter of an inch here. But when it's cold out, unlike today, today it's minus four Celsius out. If you want to get the beaver or a muskrat or an otter out of the trap as quickly as possible so that they don't freeze to the trap. And then you just dry them off in the snow like this. And uh, then they don't freeze into your sleigh. So, just a tip for your line. All right, Shay. Well, we just walked up into this beaver dam here and you could hear this water running over here and my dog, he went crazy on something and he was fighting with something in the bush here, just over here and they were snarling and he was barking and well, first we see one raccoon and we bashed him over the head with a stick and then this little guy went up the tree and then up there went the other one. There's three raccoons here at this beaver area, well I guess two now. There are probably still more. But they're here feeding on uh, minnows and whatnot that they can find. I mean, it's running all the way back there. But I'll show you this other coon we got here. Not a bad coon. He's a little wet now, but not much we can do about that. But it's been a good day. Got a beaver, a weasel, and now a raccoon. Wish I had a gun with me, I'd have two more raccoons. Might still get him, I don't know, but... Figured I'd show you guys a bit of footage here. Uh, didn't have the camera on the line with me today, but... I've just got uh, a couple of weasel boxes here. Can't see them too well because it's pitch black out here, but... And using Victor rat traps. It's all I use for squirrels and weasels. Uh, sometimes I get squirrels in 110s, but... Both these squirrels here tonight were caught in weasel boxes with a two inch hole and wire mesh over the back there. Uh, the position you see them caught in now, like this guy, he's suspended in the air. That's not the same position he was caught in, but I just stuck him back in a trap to kind of show you. Move over this one now just a sec. This guy here, however, was caught in this position. I mean, I pulled this, these boxes right straight off the line. Other than uh, that squirrel, he was kind of poking out of the end there, so I had to pull him back out. But here's this squirrel caught in a Victor rat trap with the large yellow pan too. Same thing, wire mesh on the back, two inch hole. But uh, exceedingly nice weather here. It's staying in about, I guess, uh, staying in a... Hmm, Minus 
8 and we got minus 13 a couple times this week. It's staying warmer than that even lately. It's uh, really pathetic for Manitoba weather for this time of the year. I mean, we got hardly any snow here, which I mean this time last year we had four plus feet of snow and it was minus 40 Celsius, so about, I don't know, that's minus 45 Fahrenheit, I think. But, yeah, like I say, today was a good day on the trap line, and, uh, warm weather. Thanks for watching.